Hi everyone, my name is Sofia Deal and today I'm presenting on Luis Fili, an influential Italian-American designer. The title on this slide is actually the logo for her brand, Luis Fili. It's an accurate representation of her focus on type. I discovered her work when I found out she was the wife of Stephen Heller. Her warm, old-fashioned, nostalgic style and unique type drew me in. I was also interested in how she started branding in the food industry. As a child, Luis was always fascinated by letters and books, and later she became inspired by her Italian heritage. She studied commercial art at Skidmore College in the School of Visual Arts and developed her career in voice from there. After working for Orblain, Philly discovered a love for book design and worked for Random House as an art director for Pantheon Books, where she had creative freedom designing over 2,000 book jackets, her most notable being The Lover. The Lover was designed in 1985 when the trend of bold, scream at you fonts was popular. Philly went opposite of this when designing The Lover, and it became an instant bestseller and a turning point in her career. So famous, this style was coined Pantheon-esque. Philly is currently an author of over 20 books, many of which she has co-written and collaborated with her husband, the famous Steve Heller. These are some examples of her work. The spread on the right shows pages from her book, Elegantissima, and on the left shows more of her work. Feely left her position at Pantheon and founded Luis Feely, the brand, in 1989. She wanted to stick to her original inspirations, food, type, and anything and everything Italian. Luis Feely now focuses on brand management and design for restaurants and specialty food products. Why the name Luis Feely? Philly knew she had to name her business after herself to make it easy to find her in the phone book, as well as ensure her clients that they would have a personal connection. She also wanted to send the message that she's a female, and if anyone has a problem with it, then she doesn't need them as clients. Much of Philly's inspiration came from Italy, especially the uniqueness of Italian street signs. Her type based designs transform the old into new while keeping a warm nostalgic feel. Feely is very insistent on making things not look like they are made on a computer, and her design process includes many, many rough sketches before being digitized. One of her favorite parts of designing is the sketches. This before and after is one of the transformations made from an old logo to a new one. Philly keeps a personal relationship going with many of the companies she designs for. For this gelato place in particular, Philly has hired the same place to cater for many of her talks. When working with clients in the food industry, especially those that aren't used to designers, Philly tries to talk about common elements, things like color, texture, or architectural details. All she needs is one element to latch onto so that she can make the logo work. Louise Philly and Steve Heller have been married for over 30 years, and they first met through a fan letter. At the time, he was art director of the New York Times Book Review, and she worked at Pantheon. This is the fan letter written by Steve Heller that has been reproduced in Philly's book, Elegantissima. It is a very sweet way to meet, and they were married a year later after this 
fan letter was written. Philly has gathered quite the number of awards over the years, including gold and silver medals from the Society of Illustrators and the New York Art Directors Club, the Premio Grafico from the Bologna Book Fair, the three James Beard Award nominations, and many more. Her work is featured in the permanent collections of the Library of Congress and more, and she is a member of the Art Directors Hall of Fame. She hopes that her greatest accomplishment in the future will be becoming a role model for a female designer. Haley has taught at the School of Visual Arts in New York for over 30 years. She is constantly learning from her students and has also been a notable mentor for her employee Jessica Hitch, even writing the foreword for Jessica's book. Most recently, Louise Philly's brand has created a new font called Tipo Philly. Philly has also published multiple new books, for example, Inspiration and Process in Design, and three books on European signage, which is a major inspiration point for Philly and her brand. Some fun facts about her include that she loves to cook and listen to Italian and French movie soundtracks. Her favorite film is La Stada, and her favorite book is The Wine Dark Sea. And of course, her favorite food is anything and everything Italian. In conclusion, Louise Philly is an amazing designer who, along with her husband Stephen Heller, has forever influenced the design world. Her designs remind the world of the importance of typography. Through researching her, I have definitely gained a new role model to look towards.